in my analysis, based on everything that you just said, to me, it's like you're a walking paradox. Because on one side, you're this, but then you ended up being that. No, you did not have a father. And you would, most times, you know, the data shows that when males, especially, don't have fathers and so on, they tend not to take care of their responsibilities when they become fathers. But you're such a paradox because you did not have a father, but yet it is evident of the type of father that you became. You were from humble beginnings, but yet you had this desire to achieve academically. We call it here the spirit of what? The spirit of excellence, the spirit of Daniel. But yet you were so vile, but then yet so tender hearted. So it's like you're really just a paradox walking. No, not having a father. You made mention just now about your um, stepfather and who he was to you. So basically, there was a bit of an adoption anywhere in your life in, 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 in that aspect? Um, no. Mm -hmm. I think I must give credit to, in, 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 in a sense. Mm. Informally. Yes. My principal, oh, okay. A.J. Farkinson, saw in me something that I probably nobody else saw. Okay. So he was one of those persons that um, sought to facilitate All right. a particular line of development. Mm. But it was hard mm -hmm. because during the summer days, I would go to his yard, mm -hmm. to his home, mm -hmm. and do the odd job. Oh. Um, he would plant. A lot of red peas. Mm -hmm. As a principal, he had access to the lands mm -hmm. and he planted the red peas. And in the summer, I was given the job to reap those peas, mm -hmm. bundle them up, mm -hmm. and carry them up to his yard mm -hmm. to dry and to trash the peas, separating the peas from the, from the trash. Mm. Now, can I tell you this? I, he gave me a borrow, mm -hmm. a wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. And when I stuck the peas onto the wheelbarrow and to push it up the hill, mm. all you could see is a borrow coming. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Because, because about tall. everything was above whoa, me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good that in those days, there weren't many motor vehicles on the road. Okay. And in some places, I had to crisscross the road whoa. to reach up there. Mm. And he would use that fund mm -hmm. to help to purchase my books. Whoa. Right? Whoa, whoa. He would give me a portion, but he would save a portion for mm, me. Mm -hmm. So he was that type of person my for God. me. If I may hasten to let you know that my life was so hard at 12, and I'll tell you how I got out of my stepfather's house. Mm -hmm. At age 12, my mother sent me to the shop. Mm -hmm. And I um, went to the shop, bought what I was supposed to bought, and took home the change. Mm -hmm. I never remembered to give it, give it to her. Mm -hmm. So in the night, she said to me, um, but Dudley, where the chain? Mm -hmm. I said, Mommy is in my pocket. Mm -hmm. and then let me say it was two rooms mm -hmm. no living room mm -hmm. no dining room mm -hmm. an outside kitchen and an outside toilet mm -hmm. 
Did you hear that? Yes. Good. And uh, I was in the room that the children were. Mm -hmm. And uh, she went and looked because I hung the pants up in her room. Mm -hmm. She went and looked in the room, in the pants, didn't find the money. He said, but it's not there. Mm. I know that God has given me an honest heart from way back. Yes. And I did not use the money. Mm -hmm. So I barely muttered under my voice. I must have wanted them to me take it. Mm. Wow. And my stepfather heard in the room. And mm. in a flash, mm. he was in the room. And he gave me one box. Jesus. And I hit the corner of the, of the room. Mm. And I blocked out. Mm. And when I came back to consciousness, he was about to give me a second. Jesus. And I slipped between his feet and went outside. And I went outside in a rage. Mm. And I grabbed a handful of stones. Mm -hmm. And a bottle. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you think you're bad, mm -hmm. <laughs> come back out and come lick me again. What you saying? <laughs> and when he put his foot down, uh -huh. the bottle was there. Mm -hmm. Sniper. And the smash against the stone. Mm -hmm. And he was, he had a very bad impediment of speech. Mm -hmm. When he hear him start, ah, 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 <laughs> you know you have a guest coming. Yes. <laughs> and he was in such a rage. Mm. And I was timing him around the house. Mm -hmm. He's at that corner, mm -hmm. I'm at that corner. Mm -hmm. And I timed him a few times going around the house. When I realized, because he was always coming with, with, with the venom, mm -hmm. if he had held me that night, Jesus, there would be no Winston Dudley no or Winston. no Dudley Winston. My Lord. <laughs> I managed to escape. Mm -hmm. I dashed across a, a wall. I'm coming up to a question that you wrote. Yes. I dashed across a wall and when he heard my footstep going down there, he went to a heap oh. and stones. My Lord. I had to lay flat. Jesus. I don't know if you know about terracing or buttress. Where the hillside, they build walls to retain the soil. Okay. I had to lay down under that. And the stones were coming oh. fast and furious. Oh. The whole intention was to kill him. I am supposed to be dead. Yes, my Lord. And I timed him, mm -hmm. and I timed him, and I listened. And I heard when he got into the house and him swear. Mm -hmm. And I shut off. It was about midnight mm -mm. when I finally got to the head of a wall out on the street. Mm -hmm. And I sat at the head of the wall. Glory to God, hallelujah. Mm. I lifted my voice to heaven. I said, God, I will never sleep under that roof again. Jesus. Where I was going to go, mm. I didn't know. Mm, mm. I ended up like a bird mm. sleeping in trees. Jesus. Sleeping on the roof. On the, on the cellars. And uh, those of you who might know Springfield, when it is cold, it is cold. Who is from that area? Mm. Not here now. <laughs> With all of that, there was a desire for, uh, for, for, for to achieve. Jesus. And this is why I endeavored to go to school. Jesus. I endeavored to pay attention. Mm. When it's class time, it's class time. Mm. If it's play, it's play. But when I say stop, stop. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Mm. Bad like yours. Mm -hmm. 
but still mm -hmm. within a, a, the, the parameters, you know, of having a desire to succeed. Mm -hmm. So I didn't join the gang to steal. I didn't join a gang to go break people's places. Mm -hmm. But if I were to join that gang, I would be the best. Jesus. Because you can't lock your door too good for me to open it. My Lord. My Lord. Mm. Right? But I never practiced it. Mm -hmm. Because it's apparent that God had his hand on me. Mm -hmm. Directing my life. So I would not go in a certain direction. Mm -hmm. Um... The question about being a father. Mm -hmm. Having gone through those horrible childhood experiences, mm -hmm. I vowed that my children should never be exposed to it. Mm -hmm. There's one here tonight, mm -hmm. and there are others <laughs> who I, I endeavored. Mm -hmm. They don't know the half of my story even now. Wow, wow. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But they know a lot. Mm -hmm.